the Steam Deck. Wait, no, that's not. It's in there, and I'm going to put Mac OS on it. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. We installed Steam OS on a Mac. Now we're installing Mac OS on a Steam Deck. Let's get it out. Your games are going places. More like my Mac is going places. What does this look like? A gaming device? All right, get a nice look at that fingerprint free screen because it's about to be absolutely demolished with fingerprints. I got to plug this thing in to actually turn it on. That thing just freaking sparked. While this is turning on, let me get a little stand. There's my stand. It was an extra $1,000. And we're gonna put my iMac on it. Hey, there we go. All right, I just realized that this might take a long time to set up because it is the out-of-box experience. I'm just realizing that there was literally no point for me to even sign into this thing because I'm about to wipe the entire SSD on here and obliterate it with macOS. But we'll press any button to continue anyway. Oh, cool, this is the Steam button. Wow, look, A, it's showing me all the buttons that aren't gonna work in macOS. Next, have fun. Oh, I'm gonna have tons of fun. I'm sitting at my desk with my Steam Deck in front of my keyboard with the guide up here with OBS recording over here and also I'm recording on the Steam Deck and I'm recording on my phone. Looking at the guide here, um, apparently time and patience is crucial. Good, I have that. And a machine that is compatible. Well, according to this Reddit post, it works. An Ethernet connection. I don't have one of those. We're going to make the installer in Linux. All right, Linux can't make an offline installer and the Steam Deck does not have a Mac OS compatible Wi-Fi driver. So we got to use Windows and I'm on my PC still. All right, so the first step it says is to run Gib Mac OS. So I'm going to do that. All right, we're doing Catalina. Now we need to use this thing and then drag it into here. Open it and then press P. Okay, it finished. Yay, we have a folder. This would be a lot easier if I had a Mac. If only I had a Mac that didn't have SteamOS on it. All right, so next I'll be using this. All right, now we got to format the USB drive. Error opening disk three. What does that mean? Good thing I don't need disk three. Okay, now what? Press part two, restore, and it's doing it. Cool. And it's finished. Woo! Click the second partition and make it large. Now we need TransMac. I am installing so much garbage on my computer right now. And do I have to put the entire shared support folder in there? I think I do. So I'm just going to put it in there. Oh my god, this is moving about a pixel per minute. Now while I'm having my files shipped to my computer via the United States Postal Service, we're gonna create an EFI folder so that this thing can actually boot and install. So now we need to grab the EFI folder. I'm just going to paste this EFI file into here. You go in the drivers folder. You only need two firmware drivers. That one and that. Tools. What is it? It says, just drag the tools and resources folders to the trash. Okay, well, guess we don't need these. Delete. Perfect. I love having less files on here. All right, now we're going to do the gathering files part, which we literally need. That, download. And I'm just going to shove it into there. And then I need a bunch of kects. So we need Lilu, Virtual SMC. Oh, cool. This one's experimental. Make sure you read its readme. I'm not going to read its readme, but I'm going to assume that it's going to work because the guide says it does. In it goes. USB toolbox, in it goes. And for USB map.kext, you make your own. What if I just use the tool, the one that should work? Great, that'll be good. In it goes. Surely that won't cause problems later. Now everything is in my EFI file. Oh, actually, we need the SSDTs. Oh, cool. We get to use the Steam Deck now. All right, now we're on the Steam Deck. We're finally getting to use it. Gotta go download a tool. So I'm gonna open the guide on the Steam Deck and we gotta download SSDT time. Uh, that doesn't look right. I think this is the actual Python file. I gotta do it like this. Is it working? It's downloading something. Oh, I love waiting. This is taking a very short amount of time. It is one in the morning and I would like it to download faster. Please. Please! What is this file? I just looked up the file it's trying to download. It is- What? Yeah, this thing is 420 kilobytes. I could download this myself, couldn't I? All right, I have IASL.zip. Where do you want it? Back into the folder. It's downloaded. There it is. Downloading IASL. Okay. Oh, apparently you have to put it in the scripts folder. In it goes. Downloading I- Okay, maybe I have to extract this. Perfect. Now work. Downloading legacy- Oh my god. All right, well, I'm going to put that in there as well. There it is. And then I'll shove it in there. Yay! Okay, now it has all the dependencies. Isn't that great? Now I can finally press P to dump. Well, it says it failed to disassemble. Hopefully that's fine. Press 3 to make the EC. 3. 
Enter. DSDT could not be disassembled. No, what are you talking about, mate? What are you talking about? Oh, you've got to be bloody kidding me, mate. What the hell am I supposed to do? Okay, I've found better IASL in the legacy things, so I'm going to put them in here. And we're going to overwrite everything. Please work. Oh, it worked. I had bad files this whole time. Cool. All right, well, I guess we're going to press three now. Sure, I'll do that. And we're done. I have found the world's oldest USB stick. And it's pink and only four gigabytes. And I think this has been in my house for maybe 15 years. I have my Steam Deck plugged into a dock, which is on the floor. So I'm going to go put it in there. Just do this with one hand. Get in there. Damn it. Get in there. Yes. I've successfully plugged in a USB drive. Awesome. Good. We've got all the files off the deck that we need. We're doing this in Windows for the rest of the video. And we're back in Windows. All right. I did all that to get one file and I am going to drag it into the ACPI folder. And then we need Keeper download. In it goes. We've got all the files in the EFI. No, we don't. We don't actually have all the files. We need to make a con config plist file now. Oh, God. Alright, I think we have successfully created the config.plist. Hopefully, now we need to go into Paragon, and then we have to delete this partition. There we go, now we gotta format it as FAT32. Now all we have to do is put this folder in it, probably. There might be other things we have to do, because I don't think this is gonna boot the first time, but we could be optimistic and say it will. Surely this will go perfectly well, and I will be able to go to sleep. I don't think our USB stick is actually showing up in here. I found our problem. I formatted it to NTFS by accident. FAT32. We're gonna name it to EFI. There we go. Let's try now. There we go. EFI USB. Please boot. What happened? What does that say? What? Oh my god, it actually is working. Choose operating system. Does this work? No, we need a keyboard. Hopefully that works. All right, uh, arrow keys, space, what? System timer. Oh, it's booting back into SteamOS. I'm gonna spam space. Oh, I did it. Enter. Oh, look at that. It's going. No, it's, it's going. <gasps> It didn't stop, right? I can't see from this distance. USB toolbox waiting for matching service failed or T. Cool, cool error. All right, so I've installed Windows 10 on this thing with the entire purpose of mapping my USB ports because the tool doesn't support Linux. Let's get the USB toolbox stuff on here now. Yes, give me all the viruses on my Steam Deck that's not gonna have Windows on here for very long. Did it just delete itself? I am keeping it, keep it. Oh, I have to click this, keep anyway. There we go, okay. So you basically just double click on it. Nope, you don't just, okay, Windows protected your PC. My PC is fine, thank you. Run anyway. And then we gotta discover the ports, so D enter. Cool. And that's probably correct. So I will not be switching any of these things around so it knows exactly what it's looking at. And it did it. The entire reason we installed Windows was to get that file. All right putting it in there. Now I gotta go back to my PC to put the EFI folder back on here. All right, I've just replaced the USB map text on there. I'm gonna turn it on and try to boot it now. Please, for the love of hell, work. Oh, good, it's going. It's still doing it. Oh, you mother, you have got to be joking, dude. Oh my God. Oh, Mac OS on a Steam, it's booting. Oh, okay, so what I did, I'll explain in a second. It's, this is amazing. Look at that, Mac OS on a Steam Deck. The Apple logo, that's... That's something that's very strange to see on here. <laughs> so apparently one file from the guide, the uh, the Ryzen fix, actually needed the original version that it was forked from. Oh, look at it, Mac OS utilities. Now I'm curious, do we get touchscreen support? No. We'll probably want to erase the entire Windows installation on here. Let's nuke it. We'll call it Stack OS, created by Steam Jobs. Let's just set it to that. Well, there goes my Windows installation. Hopefully I won't need that. All right, cool. Let's get out of disk utility. I'm just gonna click reinstall Mac OS and see what happens. Click here to continue. Can we, can we rotate this a little bit? Just like, there we go. Now you can see what I'm doing. Oh, this is stupid. All right, continue. Yeah, I agree to your terms of service. Sure, yeah, I didn't hack and tosh my Steam Deck. Yep, and we'll choose Stack OS <laughs> and install. Oh my god, it's installing. So what am I gonna do with Mac OS on a Steam Deck? Probably not much, considering it doesn't have audio drivers or 
really any drivers. I'm tempted to try to install Logic on here and make or play a song. Maybe it will support like a USB sound card or something. Also, look at how I'm having to hold my mouse. I have to move it like this so it moves in the correct direction on the, on the Steam Deck. Oh, what is that? What is it doing? Please don't tell me it crashed. What does that say? Thread timed out. Oh, it turned off. It's rebooting. Mac OS base system. Oh, hold on. Let's go. Oh, it's just doing it. Is it about to boot back into the installer again? What does that say now? Failed to open that. Well, hopefully it doesn't need whatever that is. I can't read it from this distance. Been sitting on whatever this is for a while. All right, I'm turning it off. It's taking too long. I'm booting back into the BIOS. Is it actually booting? Oh, it's in macOS recovery. I've already done this part. Let's do it again. Maybe it won't crash this time. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I realized that I have made a kind of large mistake, so let's give this another try. I'm just gonna turn it on. I've also made drastic changes to my plist file that I can't remember. Please work. Well, I think it's boot looping now. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, it's boot looping. Okay, trying again. I'm gonna go insane. I've been doing this for like 10 hours straight, I think. Install and agree and agree, yes. All right, I'm just gonna sit here with every single limb of my body crossed. Please do not get stuck at that one spot it's been getting stuck on for six hours. No, you would not. It's getting stuck there. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm going to sleep. Alright, I've put Big Sur on here now because that's the one that they said works. But it's an offline installer. Um, I downloaded an ISO file. I extracted the contents of it with Transmac. And I put them in the HFS partition that it created. Oh, it's booting! I have low hopes this is gonna work though because this is, um, not exactly the correct way to do it. Alright, let's see if this works. I'm just gonna click on this. Oh. Well, that was very short-lived. I, I might be kind of stupid, but it's also kind of late, and my brain isn't working as well as it should. So I have another idea. I have created an entire macOS VM running Catalina. Am I breaking terms of service? Probably. Okay, we've made it into macOS. Now we just have to go through the entire making the installer thing, but in macOS now. I'll just pull up the guide in the browser on here. I don't think this is what this is supposed to look like. Oh, it's freaking out a little bit. There we go. I just need to be in here so I can copy and paste easily. It's not scrolling right. Oh, I didn't click getting started. There it is. Mac OS Big Sur. Get. Do you want to download? Yes. Where is it putting it? One hour remaining. Oh, all right. Well, I'll, I'm just going to go to sleep. <laughs> okay, the download is finished. I've plugged my USB drive in and I'm going to format it. There. Next, run the create install media command provided by Apple. Copying to disk. Good. So it's working. I created an entire macOS VM just to make this work. It's done. Okay, now we have to make the EFI folder again. I just downloaded it. So hopefully I'm not angering a bunch of Hackintosh people. I don't know what I'm doing and I've been working on this video for like an entire week. So and then we got the mount EFI thing. We have to open up this and run this and it doesn't work. Cannot be open because it's an Ah, oh. open anyway, open. Now it's working. I'm assuming that two is the one we want. Yeah, I think that worked. All right, let's put the EFI folder in there. Bloop, we did it. Now I could get this out of here, eject. Okay, I've got it plugged in. I am going to boot into boot mode. Oh, it's booting, <laughs> it's booting. And we have a mouse on the boot screen. That's interesting. Well, as long as it works, I'll be happy. Then we can install logic on here, maybe. All right, macOS recovery. Now, if I click this, will it work? Okay. All right, I'm gonna click continue. I am absolutely breaking the terms of service, but I, I agree. Sure, because I want it to do it. And then we already have our stack OS drive and it's doing it. Mac OS is finally installing on the Steam Deck. This is like installing Mac OS on a shoe. Why would you do that? I don't know. Oh, well, cool. We're going to have a literal brick. I'm sitting here rocking back and forth like I'm in an insane asylum because I feel insane right now. I don't know if it's booting or just sitting there, but it's kind of not doing anything. I don't know how long it needs to start up, but maybe I'll just turn it off and turn it back on. Let's just see if it works a second time. It's working. I sat here for 30 minutes just waiting for it. I guess it's fine. Mac OS on a Steam Deck. That's, oh, I just hit something. That's great. Let's set up our device. Can I have the U for United? Oh, it's a little bit slow. Oh boy. All right, United States, continue. Not now. How do you connect? My computer does not connect to the internet. <laughs> continue. Your Mac isn't connected to the internet. I don't care. This isn't a Mac. Does it have to be connected to the internet to continue? Oh, it's just frozen now. Okay. I love me some terms and conditions. I have been breaking a ton of terms and conditions all day today. Agree. Create a computer account. Steam 
jobs. Password, brick. Cause that's what this thing is. Analytics, do I have to? Oh good, it's off by default. Not like it's sharing analytics anyway. This thing is never gonna connect to the internet. <laughs> Siri, you don't need anything bogging down the system resources more than it is. Continue, choose your look. Dark mode. Oh, I just dropped my keyboard. I was so I was so excited. I dropped my keyboard. Okay, something snapped off of it. The batteries fell out. <laughs> okay. Well, we got macOS on the Steam Deck. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it now, but it's on there. Can I run Logic on here? Hold on, let me let me eject the USB and put a very legally obtained version of Logic on here. I just now realized I think it took like an actual century for the dock to load down here. Whoa, look at that. Ooh, it's actually quite smooth. <laughs> Steam controller. It's showing up as like a modem or something. What? Oh, uh, that's funny. What happens if I press buttons on it? Can I like binary enter information? Okay, well, let's launch some things. Can you game on the Steam Deck running Mac OS? Uh, Mac chess. Playing chess on the, on the Steam Deck sideways. Here we go. Oh. That's not exactly the performance I was expecting. <laughs> okay, can, can we beat the computer? I don't even know what difficulty this is. Oh my god, it's taking ages to calculate its moves. I'm also not great at chess. Haha, <laughs> get pawned. All right, I ate its knight. Now what other moves does it have? I'm bad at chess, and also it's very hard to play this sideways with a laggy mouse that's too far away from its receiver and the fact that this thing is running at like three frames per second. Interesting move. I'm gonna eat your pawn because I can. Nom, 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 nom. Yep, I was expecting that. I don't have any more knights. Wait, where the where's my other rook? Oh, their knight ate it. Can this go diagonal? Can I just Yeah nom, nom, nom. it's gonna Yep, there we go. This is the worst playthrough of chess I think anyone has ever seen in the entire history of the universe. Alright, we have unlimited pawns, a rook, a bishop, another bishop. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Ah, computer wasn't expecting that, was it? Oh, oh god, I'm in check now. You can't get me. Oh boy, is that their queen? Yeah, I'm in check again. Did I lose? Oh cool, I did that French move that I forgot. Oh, still didn't matter. Did I lose now? Oh wait, this is my bishop. Oh, I guess it's gonna gobble that up. Stop eating me! Oh, it's gross. All right, now I've certainly lost, right? Yep. All right, worst game of chess ever, but we gamed on the Steam Deck running macOS. Now let's make music on it. All right, I put some files on my USB stick. It's got a very legally obtained version of Logic and a song I made like five years ago in 5-4 time. Let's see if it... Oh, God damn it. I'm on 11.7. And I need 13.5. Alright, well, let me acquire an older version. Alright, another legally obtained copy of Logic Pro. This one's 10.8.1 instead of 11 point whatever that was. Let's see if this one works. What? Also 13. Okay, 10.7. Oh, for the love of hell, man, what? Okay, an even older version of it is transferring. 10.5.1. Finally, man. All right, let's open it. Please open. Oh, it's it's freaking launching. Please select an audio driver. All right, let me plug my let me plug my focus right into this. Hang on. Oh, I just blue screened my computer by unplugging my focus right. All right, I've unblue screened my computer. I've plugged in my focus right sound card, and we sadly have to use this freaking thing. So I have to like really weirdly stretch across here to click stuff. I just like launch my song into it now. Oh, it's working. Oh, wow, that was fast. Where are the settings? Because I probably need to make sure the audio driver is working. Oh, good. Scarlet 4i4 USB. All right, I'm gonna press play. <laughs> Did it crash? It's apparently playing. No, that doesn't work. Oh, it let me click it. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Okay, and ap apply. All right, I'm, pl I'm pressing play. It's, it's working. <laughs> I can't see what it's doing, but it's working. <laughs> We got Logic Pro running on a Steam Deck. <laughs> this is an old version of Uneasy Energy that you can find on my second album, Spiraling, by the way. We've successfully installed macOS on a Steam Deck and then ran Logic Pro on it and played a song of mine. What an accomplishment. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to see if this would work with my keyboard as well. Oh, it works. <laughs> Cool. All right, well, that about wraps this insanity up. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, and if you would like to see more, subscribe. And thank you for watching.